What's up Star Wars fans and collectors? I hope you're all doing really really well. Back with another Star Wars 6 inch black series action figure review and this time we're looking at Dengar as you can see in front of you and this one is an absolute line topper as far as I'm concerned. This one is the best of the bounty hunters in my opinion um, and one of the best from the entire line itself. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to digging in and having a look at this guy a bit closely. Now, I don't have the box. Um, I chucked that out when I was doing some cleaning and I accidentally threw it out before I recorded the video. So, I do have this Snow Trooper box. So, if you just imagine Dengar and you imagine that says Dengar instead, that's pretty much what you're getting. Um, <laughs> doesn't quite work, but that's okay. Now, this, like I said, this is an incredible figure. Um... One minor flaw I will point out that he tends to suffer from what I call Bayes Malba syndrome, where um, his backpack sort of oh, it's, it, it tips him. It wants to tip him backwards all the time. He's a little bit tricky to stand and pose on his own, and a, just a general neutral sort of stance. I use I do use um, blue tack on the other, on the feet of my figures, so it's not really that much of a problem. But it might be a little bit tricky. Um, if you if you're not using an aid like that or a stand or something, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, that is the only flaw with this figure, because um, he is he's fantastic. You look at that face underneath the underneath the wraps. Some seriously amazing detail on this figure. Um, yeah, it was just an absolute thrill to finish off those six bounty hunters from Empire Strikes Back. And, uh, yeah, I didn't think this one would be as good as the rest, but he's a really good figure. There's some folks on Instagram that are getting some absolutely incredible shots of this figure as well. Um, there's some talented people out there doing some doing some really cool stuff with some with some action figure photography. And uh, yeah, this guy's certainly been a star for the last week or two. Um, he comes with this rifle, which we've seen come with. I think the Sand Troopers, maybe the Storm Trooper at some point, I can't remember. But we've seen this, we've seen this weapon before anyway. But it looks good. It's uh, no, no extra paint or detail on it, it's just the plastic mould, but it's fine. And we've got this uh, Master Pistol in his holster there as well. Which as far as I know, as far as I can remember, I think this is unique. This is a new, new weapon. We haven't seen that one before, I don't believe. But uh, yeah, some of the details throughout this guy are fantastic. Little silver buttons there on the chin. Just some of the weathering on his armor here too, like the little silver metal has sort of been scratched away. On the cod piece, on the leg armor there. She's got the straps holding the holding the leg armor on there as well. It's just, just sort of shows that as a bounty hunter, he's just sort of thrown this thrown this armor together. And I love what they did with the uh, shoulder here, the shoulder bell of the armor slipping down the arm. That's so accurate to the to how he appears in the movie. I think is awesome, and it's great they paid attention to detail there. That's really really cool. Go to the backpack. This is a removable item. Um, those little straps are loose. There are some little notches there, or it can sort of, it, it doesn't really peg in. Um, as you can sort of see there, there is a little gap in there just under the armpit. And it's, I guess it's meant to sort of just sit in there. It kind of does, but not not overly it's it's fine just to sit there it's got enough flex on it that it will just sit there anyway so um if you wanted to i suppose you could glue that on but i'm not too fast it sits there fine but the backpack itself looks great nice detail but it all comes back to that that face with the scars and you're using the photo real paint applications which just give it that real authentic good look to the eyes especially but also just some of the shading throughout the face is really nicely done 
and the fact that they've used separate parts for this head um, so that the wraps aren't so they're stuck on his face there is like a separate like headpiece underneath it's not a complete headpiece but it's it'd be majority of the face is there which which is really great Um, uh, I'm planning on doing a bit of a top 10 towards the end of the year. I've got a couple more figures on the way and one more to order um, and I'll be up to, up to date for the year. Um, once, I've got, once I've got them all in, I will do a top 10 for 20, to 2018. So I'm looking forward, to, looking forward to putting that together and really having a good think about what figures have been my favourite throughout the year from, from Star Wars Black Series. Because we've, uh, we've had a pretty good year. Articulation on this guy's pretty good. He's got the ball hinged head. He's got the neck joint there as well. Can't really tell, it's a bit tricky. Ball hinged shoulders, elbows, which get good range of motion. You really get those arms bending in nicely. Really great angle there. It looks they've done a good job of disguising that joint and the range of movability. I think that's definitely a winning point. It's got that sort of torso joint there, uh, joints to the hips, uh, the thighs, double joint in the knees, again really nicely well hidden behind that armour and into the fabric of the pants, and then ankles, and he's got these sort of moccasins, <laughs> they look like slippers, but a really nicely done figure, I'm really really happy to have this guy in my collection, he's an absolute standout. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So a lot of people get this one, and uh, yeah, most people feel exactly the same. So it's it's pretty. It's I think Hasbro's knocked this one out of the park. They've done a good job. Thanks for watching, guys. I will be back with some more videos very soon. I've got some more figures coming in the next week or two, so expect some more reviews to come up. And. Uh, yeah, until then, may the force be with you.